Hey guys, in this video, I am here from Cane Bay Plantation. And guess what? I have found Somerville's best price homes on the market right now, move in ready, and they are priced wonderful. We have tons of incentives. Some of these builders have inventory that they can close on today, um, right on up to the end of the year. And these houses are beautiful. So if you want to see that, well, I highly recommend sticking around. We are in Lockton right now. This is a Mungo product. Mungo is one of my favorite builders because they give a lot of character to their homes. They just don't look like a cardboard cutout. But what I really, really like and enjoy is, is that the neighborhood is quiet. Um, as you can see behind me, it's not a whole lot going on. And their lot sizes are a really good, decent size. That's one of the other things that I really enjoy. Behind me, 102 Seton Street. Uh, this is a Chadwick B. This is four bedrooms, three baths, and it's got 2,382 square feet. But check out this thing. This is also backs up to a pond. So if you're looking for that little pond, bit of pond action, and I love the front porch here. I love the stacked stone. Mungo just kind of puts their homes together. Uh, you know, they put those little nice finishing touches on things. Yeah, so this is a really, really cool home. Shower door. Really good, good space. I like that they didn't go with a uh, tiled bottom and the only reason, some of you are gonna disagree with me, but the only reason is when it comes to clean it, so much easier that way. Uh, water closet, and then look at your huge walk-in master closet. If you're someone like me, you tend to come home, you're tired, you may throw your clothes on the floor of the, the closet. Well, look how close your laundry room is. I mean, that's a win right there in itself. Again, you got really great appliances. You got your farmhouse Kohler sink. Again, matte black. I love the matte look, it's, it's coming in. Uh, no chrome, straight up matte black in this. Really, really love all the options they picked out. Even the chandelier. This is what I mean, it's not, it's not builder grade. You know, when you go to a spec home, everybody thinks it's gonna be builder grade, and that's not true. You got another linen closet, your internet closet. Okay, so down here we have bedroom number one. Good size, say it's about good size closet. And again, casings over the doors, five panel doors. Another double vanity, shower. Okay, so if somebody wants to get ready in the morning, Somebody can still brush their teeth. It's important. If you, if you don't have kids, you probably know nothing about this. But this house probably wouldn't work for you. Maybe it would, who knows? That's why we have these conversations. People call me all the time and sometimes we start looking at one house and I'm like, well, have you looked at this home? And they go, well, no, we didn't even hear, know anything about that. And I'm like, well, let's take a look. And that ends up being the home they want, but it wasn't the home they envisioned that they thought they wanted. Again, tankless water heater. Love that they don't hand write in all the uh, appliances. Now, you will have to get um, a uh, garage door. Uh, but they, they, you know, you give me a call, we'll see what we can do. All right. Costco closet, oh, I knew we were missing it. So this is where you'll keep all your extra toilet paper, you know, brooms, all that stuff. Now let's check out the upstairs. So really nice, they did the uh, no carpet on the stairs. I love that they went with an all real wood arm rail not just painted it. Ugh. All right, no, I'm just kidding. So you got this bonus space. This can be another bedroom. That's how they have it set up because obviously it has a closet. Really big one too. And the carpet's really nice, believe it or not. 
carpet's got that extra plush to it. All right, look at this. Another full bathroom, tiled shower. Same thing, easy to clean and pan. Full size elongated toilets, quartz counters. Guys, this is a win. I like this house. Because sometimes you get guests who come and visit you and I don't know, if you got your kids or you're down here, it's nice to have that separation. Well guys, that's, that's what they have. Move in ready in Lockton. Two phenomenal spots, two great locations. You have two water sites. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I, I think if you wanna see these or you wanna put in an offer, give me a call, 843-226-5535. Do me a favor, if you like these houses, comment below, let me know what you liked, let me know if, hey Ryan, I love the gourmet kitchen or I absolutely love the fireplace. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, sometimes it helps me to give the builders feedback, you know? Uh, we're gonna go to our next location here in Cane Bay because this video is all about the most affordable houses in Cane Bay. But before we end this video, I promised you I'd give you the price. This home, four bedrooms, three baths. Pull this out here. 2382 square feet, 499. This guys, this house is 499,000. That's a great price. Give me a call if you have any questions or you want to put in an offer. Ryan McHugh, your neighborhood expert. I'll see you in the next neighborhood. All right, guys, we are here now in Beezer at Cane Bay Plantation. We're actually at the lakes of Cane Bay. Uh, so you're a part of the lake system back here, but they have some move in ready product, some new construction ready for the end of the year. You can close on it. So if you need to be in something soon, they can help you and they got tons and tons of incentives. So let's go talk to Michael. What's up, sir? How you doing? Yeah, let's do it. Let's sell them. Well, starting at 385, we have the maple. All okay. these, as you see above that, they have the uh, date that's available. Um, they're all ready. Now. They're all ready to go if you have a specific time frame in mind, like April or December, something like that. But I have the CO on that home that's ready to go on that maple. Okay, so that's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1865 square feet maple. 384,990. Correct. Yes. Okay. If you use our, you know, our mortgage choice lenders, we have uh, either the incentive is uh, fifteen thousand dollars in closing costs. Okay. You can use that money to buy down the rate as well. And if you're a hometown hero, uh, if it's applicable. An, an additional fifteen hundred. What 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 is defining a hometown hero? Yes. Nurse. Hometown hero is going to be a nurse. Going to be a uh, first responder. Got it. Military, a veteran, or active duty as well. Okay, and then you've got the Holly that looks like that could close at the end of the year as yeah, well. Yeah, this is this is a great home. It's um, the last of our Holly of what we have here. Uh, we've, we're changing the plan up. That's 2,283 okay. square foot. Nice. Uh, wonderful uh, bedroom. Then I have a series of Hazel's and Iris floor plans. Both are uh, Hazel is a primary bedroom on the main floor, three bedrooms up, and the Iris is the primary bedroom up with a guest bedroom on the main. So they're all priced identical at $429.9. There are pond lots available as well. So then I have the, the salt after sweet gum, Ooh. 2,976 square feet. That is ready to go. That is super upgraded with uh, KitchenAid appliances as well. What about incentives? Yes, all these spec homes are all the $15,000 uh, okay. incentives using our mortgage choice lender. And again, the hometown hero would apply. So that price reflects the $15,000? No, no. This is that would be the that would be the sale price of the home. Okay. And we would we would for closing costs. 15, oh, closing costs for fifteen thousand. Got it. Okay, great. So they can use that to buy down the rate, the whole nine yards. So we just throw the money in there. So if you guys are looking for a home, come see Michael here at Beezer, right here at Jasmine Point in the Lakes of Cane Bay. He's got three loan options for you, $15,000 in closing and some great moving ready stuff before the end of the year. You gotta get in here, uh, give me a call. We can all meet together and uh, show you some homes. All right, so some of the new stuff we're doing here at Beezer, we gotta talk about all this. Process is now, we're, we're going to two by six outer wall construction. Okay. We're going to open uh, cell uh, foam 
in the walls. Okay. So two by six construction with that with the foam insulation is going to make it a little more soundproof. So it's just not the insulation. It's just not the fiberglass or whatever that is. Added insulation. Okay. We're also putting insulation around the slab of the home. So there's a yeah, like some type of another like type a barrier. Of, yep, a barrier. Yeah, just to keep the heat from transferring in and out of the home in the cold. Okay. And whatnot. We are actually doing a solar ready conduit um, from the garage up to the roof. That's so great. So they can come in and just put panels on, so you don't have to retrofit your home. We're doing charging stations in the garage. Oh, for electric, for electric cars. Car, for EV charging. Smart, smart, yeah. Um, we're, not, we're not putting the receptacle in because there's different types of receptacles. So right. We're leaving that up to the homeowner, but the station's gonna be there. That's great. We're going back, we're gonna foam the attic and put the HVAC system back up in the attic so it'll be in conditioned airspace. Oh, okay. okay so the, the temperature is supposed to be from, say, like your kitchen to the attic, only a difference of about seven to 10 degrees. Okay. So that's why we're putting it back up in the conditioned air space so you get the same uh, air changes per hour and the cooling, you know, the efficiency of your home is still gonna be the same or actually better. And so what do they do right now? It's two by four, is that what it is? And now it's gonna go two by six? Yeah, it's two by four outer construction. All our homes are basically right now are two by four uh, outer wall construction. Uh, some areas there are two by sixes, but we're going two by six in every four. And that's got to help with energy efficiency. Absolutely, 100%. Okay. That's going to help because the so you guys want an energy efficient home when you move down here, we got to talk to Michael. Right. There's also an ERV, a home house uh, ventilation system in your home. Okay. Uh, with a removable filter, you can take it out, clean it, put it back in, no paper filters. It's just basically ideal. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, Michael, for your time. Um, can I go check out that that Holly or the uh, which, which one was it? Sweet gum. Absolutely. I wanna I wanna give people kind of an idea of what a really decked out sweet gum looks 100%. like. Absolutely. Let's go. All right, let's go take a look. All right, guys, we are here back in Jasmine Point. We are gonna walk a sweet gum right now. You've got a what is that? A hazel next door? Is that a? Yes. Yeah. See, I, I learned my elevations. <laughs> yeah. got it down all right so right now we're checking out this is a um sweet gum and what is this the, is this the arts and crafts package it is. okay yeah so you got the stack stone really really nice uh as we enter you've got the really nice what is this lvp flooring it is, yes. good nice office so if you guys work at home and you're thinking hey you know i'm gonna need an office space they don't have a basement. Uh, you got your half bathroom right there. Look at this big open kitchen. Now, do you guys always do the backsplashes like this? I love it. I love the blue. Yeah, our spec homes, we try to, you know, have, you know, we prefer to have finishes people people like. So yeah. we try to dress them up real nice. So yeah, we do this. The cottage trim package is around the windows and the doors and the baseboards. That's a high elevation that we have. Okay. Um, the, the appliances are KitchenAid appliances, which is an upgrade from Whirlpool. Oh yeah, look at that. So it's a 36 wow. inch gas burner cooktop, and that'll have a range hood above there as well, Ryan. And that'll vent out? It will. Direct vent outside. And then you got it's your KitchenAid. That's a microwave, and of course... The double, the oven below, and then you got a nice big walk-in pantry. Of course, so countertops. Nice oh, I love the... Sink. Yeah, I was just going to say, I love the uh, commercial... Stainless steel sink. Right. Upgraded oh. faucets. Like the elevated okay. hearth. fireplace. Yep, that looks great. Now how, it goes right back here, and then it looks like you got a good amount of common area behind the behind right. the property. Good green space, all uh, um, taken care of by the HOA once everything gets uh, completed back there. So you got a really good backyard, nice little water over there. And you can do a nice privacy fence. Absolutely. And expand this backyard. Screen porch is a must. Definitely for down here in the summers. <laughs> All right. Let's, is this the master? It is. Probably okay, better. so this is yeah. the master. So is the master going to have flooring or it'll be carpet? It'll be carpet. Be carpet. And then in here, we've got the nice big uh, 24 by 12 tile. Again, ceiling, uh, floor to ceiling tile with the uh, pan, easy to clean pan. And then you also have the soaker tub, which is great. Water closet, nice big, whoa. This is a huge, this thing keeps going. 
It's a pretty big walk-in closet here. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> this will also be a glass, semi-frameless glass shower as well. Oh, okay. And is this the, this is like what, the uh, Admiral Blue? Admiral Blue, yes. Awesome. I'm glad you, hit, I'm glad you have the knowledge of all air. Oh yeah, okay, I, I stay on top of it all. <laughs> I stay on top of it all. I, there's nothing that I don't miss. Um, you have oak tread steps, open railings. Okay, checked out the upstairs. So again, if you're a family, this is uh, this is what four bedrooms, four bedroom, three and a half baths. Three and a half baths. I love that you guys brought the flooring up. This is great, and this is what what again is this five nineteen? This is five nineteen nine ninety. Yes. Look at this big open theater room, and this I think in your model is actually open, but Correct. I like this. Correct. Because if you got kids, they're going to have their friends over, video gaming, spilling drinks on the floor, easy yes. cleanup. No carpet here. So that's a bedroom? Bedroom with its own ensuite. Okay. And a walk-in closet. Look at that. Walk-in nice. closet behind the door there. And again, everyone who's watching, this is a sweet gum. You got the wood, open picket rails, love that. And then you got this down here, which helps keep with uh, energy efficiency, keeps the homes nice and cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Another walk-in closet. Yes, everybody gets a walk-in closet. These rooms are big. One shared bath for this, for these two okay, bedrooms Okay, these two here. bedrooms share this one. It's great. Another walk-in closet. Everybody gets a walk-in closet. All right. And you have your linen here. Oh, and of perfect. course the high ceilings, nine filled on both on both levels. Oh, you know what? I didn't even notice that until yeah. you said something. And it's also 2,976 square feet. 2,976, got it, okay. So if you guys want to purchase this uh, amazing house, the Sweet Gum, give me a call. Uh, I'll be happy to connect you with Michael. We'll get you the incentives. We'll get you all the, the goodies that uh, come along with purchasing here. And then you're on the lake system, so you have access to the lake uh, at the public dock that they, or the uh, private dock that they have there um, near Waterside. So again, if you guys are looking for a home, this is it. Give me a call, 843-226-5535. Hey guys, in this video, we are here today at Bradford Point looking at a Starling. Now, right behind me is a five bedroom, three bath, 2518 square foot home with a huge driveway and this really cool mystic blue siding that's behind me. So here's the thing that a lot of people don't realize. This home is built by Centex. Centex is also a Pulte product, John Wayland and Dell Webb. So what does all that mean? Well, quality. Check out this front porch. You get a huge front porch on this home. Um, so you can be sitting out here and enjoying some sweet tea. And then come on in, follow me. <clears throat> right when we come in, you've got waterproof floor tay floor. So a lot of people say, well, yeah, are, is flooring waterproof now? Yeah, absolutely it is. Floor tay makes a great product. It goes all the way through and it looks phenomenal in my opinion. You've got your two car garage here. You have a great Costco closet. Now, you might be saying, well, what, what is a Costco closet, Ryan? This is where you're gonna put all your big bulk stuff. When you go to the Costco store, you're gonna have tons of bulk stuff. You've got a nice guest suite down in this house. So this is five bedrooms. This is one of the guest suites. You've got the bathroom, full bathroom there as well. The other cool part is we've got this really great pantry. Check it out, it's a huge size pantry. And look at this kitchen, this kitchen is phenomenal. You've got quartz counters, okay? So you just don't have granite or like the typical grayish with the vein running through quartz. This is actually a quartz sparkle. It's got a little bit of sparkle in here, it's really, really nice. You've got this phenomenal faucet from Moen. And then on top of it, you've got all of your Whirlpool appliances. This is a natural gas community. So the thing I like about natural gas is it's relatively cheap, especially here. Uh, so you'll have your gas stub in for your gas uh, cooktop and oven. You've got a nice size island. 
And the, really the thing I like about these cabinets are, these are actual wood cabinets. Uh, some builders in the last few years have been using these resin cabinets. It's essentially plastic and then what they do is they have them vinyl wrapped. The, down, the good side for the builder is it's relatively inexpensive. The downside for the homeowner is once you start cooking and steam comes up, that vinyl is just gonna peel back and peel off. So um, I really like that they're using painted wood cabinets. Now, if we come to the back of the home, you have this covered porch, which is great because this is actually, you can screen this in relatively cheap. It'll cost you about $1,200 to screen this whole thing in with a door. Uh, you've got a great wooded back lot. You don't need a huge lot here because most of the time, your Fridays and Saturdays aren't gonna be spent mowing the lawn. They're gonna be at the beach and enjoying all the cool things Nexon has to offer. All right, come with me back inside. The other thing I wanna point out here is you've got a master bedroom down. So for some folks who are like, hey, I actually like a master bedroom down, this is gonna be your spot. So you get this really nice, well, natural lit master bedroom. And there's no electricity in this house right now. So what you're seeing is kind of how it would be if you didn't have any lights on. You've got a double sink. Um, you got your master ensuite. You've got a big walk-in closet over there. It's huge. And you have the full uh, shower. So no tub in this house, but you do have a big shower, uh, five foot shower, and you got the double basin sinks. So as we go upstairs of this house, so one of the things I think every home in South Carolina should have, especially since we don't have basements here, is what's called a flex or an open loft, okay? This loft space is great. You can put a couch, hang a TV on the wall. Really, it's a place for the kids where if you're downstairs enjoying time with friends and family, the kids can be up here playing video games and hanging out. Check this out. Over on this side, you have two really large size bedrooms, which is great. Got a nice little closet, linen closet in the middle. If we go back over here, we have bathroom number three. So this again, this is a single sink bathroom, but behind this door, this is actually gonna save you a lot of money. Now, let me explain. Most builders, put the HVAC system up in the attic. And the problem with that is, when it's up in the attic, you actually don't have it temperature controlled. So it's working harder to cool your house down. But because they bring it into the con temperature controlled environment, now you have more energy efficiency in the home because this doesn't have to work as hard to cool things down. Pretty sweet. And it makes it easy to work on it if you need work. And this is bedroom number five with a walk-in closet. So this is actually the smaller bedroom, but it's got a full walk-in closet, which is really nice. So again, guys, this is the Starling. This one is at 131 West Bradford Point, 419, 815. And here's the even better part. If you guys give me a call, or maybe you're just here for an afternoon and you're walking around checking these houses out, you can say to them, hey, Ryan McHugh or the Buy From Ryan team is our realtor of choice. And the best part is you're gonna still get some money off this house other than their incentives. Because we have, with Pulte, Centex, John Whelan, they're called Realtor Advantage Program, which means when you use me, you get more money off your home, which is phenomenal. So again, this home is available early, after the first of the year. Uh, if you wanna lock it in now, you're gonna get the best price. They've got some rate buy downs and some things that you can do to take advantage of even the high interest rate market. So let's go check out one of their other floor plans and we'll go from there. Okay guys, we're at the next floor plan here. This is the Ibis. So this is a single story home. Uh, this is four bedrooms, two baths, 1775 square feet. If you watch some of my other videos, this is actually kind of similar to the Cali from DR Horton or even maybe the Montgomery from Lennar. So let's check this home out. Huge driveways over here in Bradford Point. Now keep in mind, this home is still being built. 
This is gonna be something that's gonna be available early 2024. And again, this is the Ibis. It's got a white exterior, so if you like that Charleston white, you're gonna love this home. You've got two really good sized bedrooms and a full bathroom right in the middle as you walk in. So if you've got kids, little ones who are like, hey, we don't wanna be close to mom and dad even though we're on a single story home, this is perfect because this is right at the front. So it gives you a little bit of separation. Now, if you follow me, we're gonna come right down here. We've got another nice Costco closet. We've got your laundry room. Here's your entrance to the two car garage, but check this out. It's another bedroom back here. So this is on the other side from where the other two uh, bedrooms were. So again, four bedrooms in this, we've seen three. This is a little smaller in size than what a traditional bedroom should feel like, but this is great if you got family coming in from out of town, guests, visitors, um, they, they don't wanna be on the same side. They don't want to be on the same side as your kids. Another little coat closet. And then as we come in here, this is where things really open up. You've got your pantry. So you've got your pantry. Now this particular home does not have counters in yet, but they are doing a beautiful glacier white quartz countertop in here. And I think that's going to look amazing with the white cabinets. Here's the other part. Look at this view. Let's check this out. Got a big living space, nice and open, nine foot ceilings. And then look at that, that's your view. You get to come out here, drink your coffee. Uh, one thing that I really, really like, this is uh, gonna be screened in. So this is gonna have a screen lanai, but I like that they do this. And most people will go, well, Ryan, what's this little like five by three foot pad here? This right here, is where you are gonna put your grill because you don't wanna cook your grill underneath your screen then I would burn the place down. You actually have a separate location for it, totally outside of the screen lanai. Love these all glass doors. And then when you come back in here, you do have this very open living space. You've got a ton of space here. You can hang a TV on the wall. Uh, one of the things that some of my clients have been doing, even though they don't have a fireplace, uh, there's some really great artisans in the neighborhood who can actually come out, build you a feature wall, and then put in an electric fireplace, and it looks amazing. Now, as we come back here, you're gonna see this master bedroom. Look at the size of this. This has got a great size, plus you have view of the water again. <laughs> it doesn't really get much better than that when you got that view and you're waking up in the morning, right? Uh, again, full on master bathroom. So you've got a double vanity, you've got your big shower, your toilet, and then your big walk-in closet in this house. So again, this is the Ibis, 1775 square feet, four bedrooms, two baths. This is gonna be available right in the beginning of the year. Tons of incentives. They've got some rate buy-down programs, and don't forget that realtor loyalty program. I can get you some more money off the price of this house. So you need to reach out. And honestly, Bradford Point is growing. Beautiful amenity center there. They've got the pool, they've got the basketball court. I think it's a basketball court. They've got the pool over there. Lots of great stuff. Again, this is gonna be available early 2024. So as I was mentioning before, guys, Centex here at Bradford Point has a phenomenal amenity center. Not only do they have this really great basketball court, okay? They've got this awesome kids playground set with swings, soccer field. Look at this, they've got their own soccer field. So if you've got a child who likes to play sports, basketball, soccer, they've got it here for you. And look at this pool. Love all the palm trees. It's one of the things that like when I'm picking out a neighborhood or I'm thinking about a neighborhood, these are the things I consider. And this is your own property. Nobody else is gonna be using this. Look at that. Nice pool. 
Nice little amenity center with bathrooms, chairs, covered places to sit. And they got like a little kids area. So again, Bradford Point, Centex, otherwise known as Pulte. This is an area you guys are gonna wanna consider. I mean, it's it's pretty crazy how awesome of a, of a neighborhood this is. And the home prices are affordable. So when you're thinking about next and sometimes it's gonna cost you almost 400 to 500,000 just to get into Nexon. You can get in here at the high threes, low fours. And they also have another neighborhood called Sanctuary Cove that's a Centex product. That's a mature neighborhood that believe it or not, has their amenities there, has everything. And they've got some amazing ibises that are move in ready that can close before the end of the year. So if you wanna know more about those, you gotta give me a call. Hey guys, we are here at Midtown in Nexton. And yes, Nexton is huge. It's like a small city. And to be honest, look at how cool this house is behind me. I mean, the whole street has got really cool looking houses on it. Nexton uh, at Midtown, they actually only do hardy plank siding. So if you're not familiar with hardy plank versus vinyl, hardy plank is actually a cement wrap on your home. It's a cement fiberboard and it is amazing especially for energy efficiency behind me is 712 blue way avenue this is a pulte product so as you just saw where we were over in centex looking at the centex product this is pulte's product behind me and wow this house is incredible wait till you see the inside so th some things i just want to point off right out of the gate you've got huge eight foot front porch you can see you got some chairs up there. Great for entertaining or just kind of hanging out and waiting for your friends to walk by. Now follow me. One of the big pros is I do love that they elevate these houses and notice they paint the elevation cement to match the hardy plank cement. And this is cement. You also have real wood shutters. Okay, that's another thing, they work. So if you want, you can always go like this and close and open and close them, pretty cool. Most shutters are just for looks, to be honest. And then as we come up here, you've got a really cool front porch. It's got the, uh, the blue, which is supposed to ward off evil spirits. A lot of people don't realize that, but that's good luck. And this awesome gas lantern. I mean, gas lanterns are super classy and I just like the way they look and kind of gives a really cool vibe. Check this out, three-fourths quarter door. You got three-fourths of it all glass. Um, some people say, hey, Ryan, what it, can you just see in people's houses? A lot of people tint this now, so it's really nice. Really love the color of the door, eight feet, so it feels super, super tall. As we enter, check this out, 10-foot ceilings in here, huge, huge ceilings. So right when we enter, right out of here, you have a full office with closable doors. So if you're working from home, maybe you just need to take a phone call, you can come in here and you've got privacy. Also, you've got two bedrooms right at the front. So that Ibis that we saw that had the two front bedrooms there, very, very similar to this, but they share this really cool full bathroom what I like is the custom tile work, and you'll notice these floors are phenomenal. LVP flooring, you've got a dual sink in here, plus you've got really, really nice cabinetry, full tile shower. So most of the showers in these new houses, they tend to have the plastic wall here. They went ahead and just did tile all the way up to the ceiling, which I think is a great selling advantage. I mean, if you're somebody who's looking for the nice little detail stuff, this is it. Each bedroom is a great size and also offers, look at this, these huge tall windows. And the best part about these windows is they're, <clears throat> these are actually uh, argon-filled double pane, which means the outside gets really hot, the inside stays cold. 
and you're not having that UV wear on your carpets from when the sun hits it. So this home, this floor plan is 2,002 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, two car garage, single story plan, nice little hall closet for all your winter coats that you'll need. But look at this kitchen, look at the detail. Now, these are quartz counters, but these are like a level five quartz. I mean, these are amazing, amazing counters. So you've got the single basin sink, but you've got the really cool chrome Moen faucet. You've got the upgraded Whirlpool smart technology. Look at this, I don't even know how to open this microwave. This is crazy. They've got, it, it, where, how do I open this? There we go. Oh, this is pretty sweet. Full, full uh, microwave, that's cool. It's got tons and tons of features here. Also, this vents outside. So for some of you cook, some of the, you that cook, this is actually really cool because it's not gonna recirculate that air. It's actually pumping it outside. Another fan favorite of mine. Love the gas community, natural gas community, same thing. You've got push-in uh, gas oven. And then look at all the counter space behind you, all quartz, you've got lights underneath, you've got your tiled backsplash. And you guys are probably like, Ryan, how much does this house cost? Because you've even got soft closed cabinets, which I love. And just look at how open this is. This is a really, really open floor plan for a single story home. Now, what I will tell you is this home generally ends right about here, okay? And then you've got a screen porch or something like that. They did this beautiful sunroom, okay? I think it just opens it up a little bit more, makes it feel more homey. But right through all these windows, you've still got a covered patio out here. So you've got a nice covered patio. You can screen this in relatively easy and you've got a detached rear load garage. Let's take a look and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. You got tons of place for storage. Yes, we do not have basements, but you've got all of this for storage. You can put tons of storage in the walls, but look at this, tons and tons of space in here. Nice size garage. Here's why I like this garage is because you can still, you can find the studs and mount things to it. And then they've also thought about the uh, electric vehicle charging. So each section will have an area for you to plug your electric vehicle in. All right, so let me show you where you'd be parking. This is about your grass. This is your space for your lawn. So a lot of people say, Ryan, you know, the, the yards aren't very big in Midtown and Exton. And I tell them, I'm like, they're not. But do, again, do you really wanna spend your weekends mowing your lawn? Probably not. And you can still put a pool in here. You can still put a jacuzzi, it's fine. Driveway access. So you'd come down here, you'd pull into your, your uh, garage, and then again, you'd head out and that's how you'd get out of your street. Now this is called the sweet grass, okay? And again, I like how they do these little steps for folks. Um, because it's an elevated home, you do need a little bit of steps. I've seen people, replace the wood with brick, which is also very nice. Oh, I don't know if we pointed this out. Did you see these? Look at these legs. Look at how they're building these, constructing these. Eight foot doorways, nice laundry room. Love the tile, got cabinets above. Got your breaker box in here, but look at this bedroom. This master bedroom is amazing because not only do you have four LED lights in all the corners, but you got a support that's braced for a fan. And look at this, look how classy this is. Something about going into a master bathroom and having double doors, just that, that feeling of like, oh. <laughs> so again, we are in the master bathroom. Look at this big, huge master shower, frameless shower door, which I absolutely love. You get in here, look at all this space. Sit down, you got your water head, you got a nice little window, tiled, it's great. And what I like is, is they didn't tile the floor. When you tile the floor of a shower like this, you actually 
will pick up grime and grit over the years. This is super easy to clean. This is just your regular um, base for your, uh, generally for a tub, but it's, it's pretty nice. Again, love the tile in this one. And then you've got your water closet and this big, big walk-in closet. Okay, let's head back out and I'm gonna tell you guys the price of this house because I don't think you're gonna believe it. Nice little linen closet, you've got your dual vanity. I like the, that they went with the square. I like that they went with the square. Quartz again for the counters. All wood cabinets. So let's head out here and we're gonna talk about the price of this home. All right, before we begin, generally homes like this in Nexon are around 525 to 550, folks. I've seen sweet grasses go for as much as 550. This home today with all the markdowns, 494, 950. But that realtor loyalty program that I'm involved in, you still get another $1000 off the price of this house. So, when you're considering moving into one of the hottest selling communities in the nation, I mean, Nexon is number one in the entire country for a reason. And it's a lot to do with these houses and the way these builders are building. So this particular floor plan is 494, 950. You can buy that. Let's just call it 493 because we know you're gonna get that loyalty program by using myself. But again, if you have questions or you love this house and you just wanna buy it, give me a call, 843-226-5535. I got one more home by Pulte to show you, so let's go check it out right now. All right guys, so the next house we're gonna take a look at here in Midtown Next, and right behind me is called the Laurel. This is a Pulte floor plan. And the really cool part about this house is you can actually purchase this home in a three bedroom or a four bedroom with a bonus and uh, a flex space. So this is a really, really great house. I'm excited to show this to you. And it comes in a ton of different elevations. This particular elevation we're looking at is just the standard front porch elevation. It's like one of the least expensive. But here's what's crazy. This home before the end of the year was just reduced to $38,000. So let's check it out. You've got the front porch, you've got the gas lantern, which I've already told you I absolutely love. Eight foot doorways with uh, the window, glass window. And then as you come in, look at this. All LVP throughout the first floor. Love the flooring in here. Now, technically you could make this home uh, a fourth or fifth bedroom, but let me show you something that's really, really neat. Right when you first walk in, you have your Costco closet. You guys love me calling it a Costco closet by now, but you've got this huge office. Nice big office, it's private, it's kind of at the front of the house. So if you ever have like somebody that's coming by and they, maybe you're doing a presentation for somebody, it's at the front of the house, you don't have to walk them through your whole home. All right, coming back over, we've got your formal dining room. Uh, this is great that you've got this. It's, it's a really big space. Like you don't realize, but most dining rooms aren't this big. You do have a walk through to the kitchen, but let's check this out. Look at this, open space. Huge U-shaped kitchen with a massive island in the middle. I love all the seating out there. You can fit five seats comfortably. So if you got four kids, five kids, doesn't matter, bring them all. You've got the space for them. Quartz counters, uh, love these quartz because these have like the, these are actually quartzite. A um, little bit different between quartz and quartzite. You've got the glass see-through cabinetry. Absolutely love it. Beveled edges, so it's just not your plain white shaker cabinet. We've got the, <laughs> more upgraded Whirlpool appliances. You've got your gas cook range, stove, everything. 
uh, and tons and tons of cabinetry. I mean, it just kind of goes on. You've got cabinets here, cabinets here. You even got this, they even made this little spot down here. Secret, this is gonna fit a wine fridge. And they have not forgotten your pantry. So this is where your pantry is. Plenty of space in there. Boop. All right. Now I'm gonna show you my favorite part of the house. This big living room, tons of light. Got a spot for a fan, but look at this. Tell me this isn't cool. Boom. So you can have this whole indoor outdoor experience. Look back, look back there and see how cool it is just from looking from this angle. You have a ton, a ton of space in this house. You've got the screened in porch here. So this home is ready to go. This is ready, set. They are ready to sell this thing. You can close on this in less than 30 days because we can get you a mortgage like that. Um, check out this outdoor patio. Watch your step. And then as we come over here, you've got a little side yard, maybe for the dog, if you have a dog. And then again, really big two car garage with all the modern electrical things needed, especially if you've got an electric car, a couple electric vehicles. And same concept, you got your rear load uh, garage, a little bit of space to park off the street, but this is the size of your yard. And again, folks, you can still fit a pool in here, you can still fit a hot tub. You're not losing anything by having a smaller yard, you're actually gaining more lifestyle. All right, let's go back in and check out the master. So this is a traditional owner suite down. The nice part about that is you're gonna have these floors in the owner suite, which is conveniently right here. So again, you have a huge, huge space. You've got the dual doors, as you know, I, I love so much. Come in nice. 24 by 12 tile so you get a little bit more of elongated tile you have the frameless shower doors uh, you also have that same same uh, base for the shower but you also have nice big tiled showers mowing shower head this is something that's been missing from a lot of homes lately i haven't seen niches or niches or anything like that lately so this is nice to have in here one of the things you'll notice is the sinks are separated. This is how you keep a marriage. You have separate sinks because if you don't, you guys are going to be elbowing each other every time you want to take, brush your teeth. Now you got a huge walk-in closet in here. Let's go check out the upstairs. I'm going to just leave that open because that's cool. Down here, you have your half bath. So you got your powder room. And then you also have your laundry room. So it's kind of tucked and out of the way so you're not having people like notice it right when they walk in the home. All right, let's head upstairs. I like this, that they do do the wood tread on the stairs. They match the tones of the floor. All right, so up here you have your hallway and you have these really two great size bedrooms. Uh, the th reason I like these size is these are not your traditional small 12 by 12 bedrooms. These are really, really big. And the thing that I like, notice that the bathtub and toilet has a door. So if somebody up here wants to brush your teeth in the morning, they don't have to disturb that person. And you come out, you got another closet, linen closet, but look at this bedroom. This bedroom is huge. And you get a walk-in closet, just like the downstairs. So these bedrooms are definitely a lot larger in size. You're not gonna be cramming your kids into a tiny room. So as I mentioned, guys, this home is move-in ready. It's ready to go. You can buy it today, get you closed. Five 
49,940. And again, that's before any of my realtor discounts. So if you want to see this home, maybe you want to put in an offer, give me a call. I'm going to help you with that. I'm going to get you the most discounts and you can move in in the next 30 days. You can be in this before Christmas. Okay. And again, this is a three bedroom home, two and a half baths, 2584 square feet. So when you're comparing apples to apples, you have to realize there's a lot of huge add-ons on this home, 38,000 that they just took off the price of the home right here at Midtown Nexton. I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. Let me know what you think. If any of these homes are good for you and you wanna move in them soon, you gotta just reach out. Give me a call, 843-226-5535. My team and I will help you negotiate and make this process smooth. So again, you just gotta reach out. All right, so one final thing I do wanna mention, Midtown's Amenity Center is basically blowing everybody else out of the water. It's phenomenal. It's got a lagoon style pool. They have an indoor gym with a kid area. So I gotta tell you, if you're thinking about making that lifestyle change, you really wanna consider next and at Midtown. Uh, Bradford Point has their own amenities. So that is separate, even though it's all part of Nexton. But I'll tell you what, for the extra little bit of extra money, Midtown has it going on. So let me know what you think in the comments. Go ahead and leave a like or a subscribe and just let me know what your thoughts are. If you like this house, the Laurel or the other one that we saw, you just go ahead and let me know.